although the number of unsentenced offenders stands at 130 against the over 3,900 convicted offenders, the budget of the Namibia Correctional Service, NCS, is too limited to accommodate all these inmates. The NCS says even though it has managed to curb overcrowding through cross transfers, guarding inmates and providing other services, have to be split between the sentenced and trial-awaiting prisoners. Legally, the unsentenced offenders are not allowed to perform any duties and as a result just remain in cells, not doing anything. We normally keep offenders who are unbearable by police officers. If they see this offender become a trouble to them, they bring to us who, who, take, who do not have a a brother or a sister. What do you mean? Those one whom, whose trouble some, who are fighting there, or they are, they, are, they are causing chaos at the police station, Inspector General will write me to request those one to come to us. Because when they come to us, they know when to come to us, either you behave or we deal with you. Budget cuts have forced public institutions to align operations to stay afloat. The Commissioner General therefore called for the immediate sentencing of unsentenced offenders. President Hage Gengob called for the implementation of the Offender Risk Management Correctional Strategy, which was launched seven years ago. The strategy deals with the causes of committing crimes and focuses on individual offenders. Not all criminals are cooperative. That's why they are there because they violated the rules and norms of the society. But you are now charged to work with them, rehabilitate them, correct them, as correctional services saying. However, the strategy has so far been implemented only at three correctional facilities. The overall capacity of Namibia's correctional facilities is 5,147 and currently houses 4,067 offenders. Men tops the list with 3,951, while 116 jailed offenders are women. Two are juveniles and foreign nationals make up 228. Blanche Corres, NBC News, Ventuk.